In this video, we're going to talk about reference angles. So a reference angle, reference angle for an angle theta. And we need to give it a name. So a reference angle is an angle for another angle. It's associated with another angle, in this case, associated with theta. So let's call it theta prime. So written theta prime is the positive, the positive acute angle made by the terminal side, terminal side of theta and the x-axis. Okay, so it's a big definition. Uh, it's a very important one. So a reference angle for an angle theta, we're calling it theta prime. This is our reference angle here, theta prime. It's the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So that's the key. So it's the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. Um, so why are reference angles important? Well, that's, that's the key. So the key point, key point, and this is a big deal in trigonometry. It's like huge. The trig, so the trig function values the trig function values of an angle are equal to plus or minus, possibly, we have to determine if they're positive or negative, but plus or minus the values for its reference angle, depending on the quadrant. So depending on the quadrant. So what we do when we have to find a trig function value is we find the trig function value for its reference angle and then we determine uh, what quadrant our original angle is in and that will give us the correct sign of our trig function value. That's it's a lot to say, uh, but we'll get to it. It's actually really easy once you know how to do it. Okay, let's do some examples of finding reference angles so you see how it works. This takes a little bit uh, to learn. Um, the learning curve is not like super fast. Some people have a hard time with this. So find the reference angle. All you have to do is just be really careful with these. Just know the definition. So let's see. A. We want the reference angle for 212 degrees. So I like to draw a little picture first. So 212 is, well this is 180, right? And this is 90. So 212 is like way over here. There's 212, boom. That's 212 degrees. So the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of theta. Here theta is 212 and the x-axis. So it's this little angle here, this little positive angle here. Okay. And so you can say, what, what angle is that? Well, the difference between 212 and 80 is 32 degrees. So the reference angle in this case is 32 degrees. Okay, that's tricky. Let's do another one. B, how about this one? So, oh, negative 60. I'm already drawing the picture. Negative 60 degrees. So negative 60 degrees, it's a negative angle. So starting here, negative 60 might be here. Right, so that's, that's negative 60 degrees. Okay, because this is negative 90, right? And we want the reference angle. So the reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So we always have to go in a positive direction, so in a counterclockwise direction. So we have to start here and, and just go this way. So this angle here has a measure of 60 degrees. So that is our reference angle. It's the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our given angle and the x-axis. Let's do another one. So let's see, B. This time we have 7 pi over 6. 
So I'll draw the picture. I'm going to say, where is 7 pi over 6? Where could that possibly be? The way I do it is I know this is pi. And so I think of pi as a number over 6. So 6 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 has to be down here somewhere. Uh, right there, 7 pi over 6. So that angle there is 7 pi over 6. The reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So it's going to be this little angle right here. And the difference between 7 pi over 6 and 6 pi over 6 is pi over 6. So our reference angle in this case is pi over 6. Let's do another one, maybe just one more, D. About 5 pi over 6. So again, we draw our picture. We're thinking of this as 6 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 is going to be here somewhere. So that's 5 pi over 6. So our reference angle, again, it's the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of theta and, our, and the x-axis. So this is our theta. So this is the positive acute angle right there. Boom, there it is. So that's pi over 6. So again, the reference angle is pi over 6. So the key is just carefully draw the picture and just always know, um, you know what, uh, <clears throat> what, um, what the definition is, right? It's the positive acute angle made with the uh, terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So in the next video, uh, we'll do more examples. That's it.